another example. We want to show by mathematical induction that for any natural number n that is greater than or equal to 4, that n factorial is going to be greater than 2 to the n. So here we go. We'll start off with step 1. And remember, step 1 is to show that this works for any, any number. Well, it has to be a number greater than or equal to 4. So the simplest case is going to be the case where n equals 4. So let's see if that works. Is this true for n equal to 4? Well, 4 factorial, is that greater than 2 to the n? Well, we have to work that out to see, but that's not hard to do. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 2 to the n, uh, in this case, n is 4, actually. That n right there, let me erase that and write that as a 4. That should be 2 to the 4. Is 4 factorial greater than 2 to the 4? 2 to the 4 is just a 16. So my right-hand side is um, six, 16. So is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 greater than 16? And you can see that it is. 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. So 24 is greater than 16. So it works for a number. It works for the number 4. We've shown that it works in one case. Now, step two, we want to show that if it works for any number, which we call k, then it also works for k plus 1. So what we do is we assume that k factorial is greater than 2 to the k. And based on that fact, we want to show that k plus 1 factorial is greater than 2 to the k plus 1. Now, take note of one thing. I'm going to come over here to the side. Just take note. Take note that k plus 1 factorial is the same thing as k plus 1 times k factorial. If you don't see that as the case, just look at a simple example. Suppose um, k plus 1 was 4. Then we're saying that 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 factorial. And that should make sense to you because 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that's just what we have on the right-hand side, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So in general, this is true. k plus 1 factorial is equal to k plus 1 times k factorial. That fact right there arises from the definition of factorial. I'm just going to note that fact because that's going to come in handy in our proof here. Okay, now here's my little proof. I'm going to start with what I know, and what I know is this, that, that I'm assuming to be true in this step of the proof. I'm going to write k factorial is greater than 2 to the k. And now I'm going to take that and multiply each side multiply each side by k plus 1. So I end up on the left with k plus 1 times k factorial is greater than k plus 1 times 2 to the k. I just multiplied each side by k plus 1. Now the left side here, k plus 1 k factorial, that's this, k plus 1 k factorial, which is equal to k plus 1 factorial. So just take note here that the left side is k plus 1 factorial. So I'll write that. I'll rewrite my equation here, but on the left I'll write k plus 1 factorial is greater than, and I'll leave the right side the same, k plus 1 times 2 to the k. Now we're almost done. We just need to apply a little bit of logic here. Think about the right-hand side. What if k plus 1 was equal to 2? What if I had a 2 right there times 2 to the k? 2 
times 2 to the k. That would be just like saying 2 to the 1 times 2 to the k, which is the same as 2 to the power of k plus 1. Okay, I don't have 2 times 2 to the k. I have k plus 1 times 2 to the k. And since k is greater than 4, or k is greater than or equal to 4, I know that k plus 1 has to be bigger than 2. So if I have a number bigger than 2 right there, then I'm going to get something bigger than this. So what I'm reasoning here is that this thing right here, k plus 1, 2 to the k, is bigger than 2 to the k plus 1. And at this point, I'm done. Remember what I'm trying to show? I'm trying to show that k plus 1 factorial is greater than 2 to the k plus 1. And what I now have reasoned is that k plus 1 factorial is greater than this thing, and this thing is greater than 2 to the k plus 1. So if k plus 1 factorial is greater than that thing, and that thing is greater than this other thing, then k plus 1 factorial has to be greater than this other thing. That's the transitive property of inequality. And that's what I was trying to show. That k plus 1 factorial is greater than 2 to the k plus 1. So there you have it. Another example of using mathematical induction to prove some statement about natural numbers. In this case, we proved that if n is greater than or equal to 4, then n factorial is always greater than 2 to the n.